What's up, investors? It's Mike from MJF Invest. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to... Oh, let me fix this. Sorry. A little better. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to all. Uh, I just wanted to uh, do a brief uh, live stream where I wanted to discuss some of the trades that I'm going to be looking at in the upcoming week. I wanted to discuss... Um, you know, some of the stocks that I've been hearing about on social media and in my last couple of live streams, we got Stephen Mooney in the house and Dinesh, how you guys doing? Thank you for joining the live stream. Uh, make sure you guys tap that like button. Um, we got 12 people in here. I want to see 12 likes, 11 likes. Uh, that, that, that helps promote the channel. It helps promote the, this stream to get more people in it. Uh, so make sure you guys hit that like button uh, across the board. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. How's everybody doing? <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Um, first and foremost, we got a big week coming up. Thursday is the uh, the hearing for the Robin Hood GameStop uh, debacle. I guess they're going to try to get to the bottom of, you know, what what happened, and we'll, we'll start to see. You know, I'm interested to see how all that plays out. You know, I've been hearing on Wall Street Bets on um, Reddit lately that, you know. Uh, is getting pumped again you know i don't know i'm staying away from all that uh you know it's just i feel like there's a lot of opportunities in the market that i don't i don't need to be involved in that for another kind of uh scandal where robin is just going to close the position or the, or the platforms are going to close the positions out i'm not getting involved in any of that but the plays that i am uh i got a couple here that i'm looking at that, that look pretty good for this week uh first co uh, company i wanted to talk about was a company i've talked about uh, a couple of times on the channel. Uh, it's run a little bit. Uh, that was company uh, ticker symbol ASRT. Uh, uh, I, first time I talked about the company, they were trading at 64 cents a share. They had cut into some senior debt. They paid off 10 million. They restructured the company. Uh, they were saving something like $40 million of their in their operation uh, in the coming year. Uh, that got me pretty excited uh, about them uh, initially, and now that they, they ran, now they're up over a dollar. Uh, you know, and I think this week it's going to continue. Uh, we got the move back towards the 20-day SMA, and um, we closed above that line. Uh, so I'm excited about that company. I'm looking for a good day on Monday for ticker symbol ASRT. Um, another company I, I found that I'm really interested in this week uh, you know, if you're new, if you just got in here, smash that like button, guys. I really want to get this live stream out there. I want to, you know, get some people in here, get some views on this one. So, you know, like, subscribe if this is the first time you're here. Uh, another company I wanted to talk about was ticker symbol WTER. Uh, that's Alkaline Water. It's a penny stock. A really interesting company. Uh, you know, if I was getting into it, like when I was taking notes and, and, and I could definitely see it being an attractive buyout, it's a, it's a play on like specialty water, but they're getting into uh, CBD waters, in, like in cannabis infused waters as well. Uh, they're currently the eighth largest uh, water company. They're like the only one that, uh, the, it's like the biggest small uh, water company, uh, specialty water company that there is. Uh, and, and with some of the other buyouts that have been going on, I could see a very similar circumstance for this. This company is trading under $1.50, a very low market cap. They're in a good financial position in an emerging industry. And I'm thinking, you know, I know it's a little bit gimmicky, uh, the cannabis infused water, but Budweiser just purchased a company. Heineken had purchased a company uh, to, 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 to make a product like this. I could 100% see something like this uh in the future for for ticker symbol w-t-e-r uh, i may make a video about it you know a little more in depth a little more uh structured uh but if you're on the live stream and you were looking for a stock trade this week uh i think that one looks pretty good the chart looks okay uh you know very interesting uh has some promising catalysts coming up in the next couple of weeks no, it's not completely a cannabis play. Um, I like the cannabis end of it. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, um, but 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 I like I like the um, the area of of cannabis, especially the like uh, you know when I was just reading, it was Budweiser, Heineken, and another major alcohol company bought a you know these CBD type companies or to to make a product to to, to get their product to market. Um, 
you know, at a faster, you know, at scale. So they buy a smaller company that already has the product and it's just kind of, you know, Yeah, well, I, don't, I hear you. It's not for everybody, right? Uh, we talk about it. Uh, you know, you got to decide. I mean, I definitely hunt for some speculative trades. Um, you know, in this market, it's worked out. That doesn't always mean that it will or that I'm going to be right all the time. Uh, but but in this case, you know, and, um, I, I you know I I actually I see some value. <clears throat> I see two two or three x value. Um, I'm not I'm not saying I would make a, a, a substantial investment. In something like this, but but I I may swing a couple hundred shares, you know, see if I could uh, turn it into a share to a Tesla. I looked a little bit. I, I looked at a bunch of the stocks that that people were talking about last night. Um, I got my list right here. Uh, the next stock I wanted to talk about was ticker symbol SOS, and and I do I, I like that. I NTNX. Uh, TNXP is, is another company as well. I looked into a little bit and, and, and I liked what I seen. I, I wasn't able to do enough DD to, to, to really have conviction on it, you know, cause it was only yesterday that, that, that company was brought to my attention. But in the reading that I did, I, I, um, I, I do like that company, TNXP. I definitely see value there. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching, smash that like button. Uh, let me let me circle back to ticker symbol SOS. Um, I, I I definitely understand where the hype is coming from, and and the momentum, and there's definitely a lot of upside there. I normally don't like to get involved in stocks like this, like cause when I'm late. I feel like I'm late now because you know everybody. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, uh, thank you for being part of the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, I I wanted to um. I don't normally like to get into uh, a stock after it's been running up like this, right? Like I, I would have loved to have gotten it last week at three dollars, right? Because with higher highs comes lower lows. Uh, so, so when you, if you're going to get involved with ticker symbol SOS, you know this week, keep that in mind that the, that, that it could be due for a pullback. So if you're not ready to hold on to it or you don't see value in it, you know if you've got to get if you're going to have to hold on to it for a couple for a month or two or, or three weeks. If you have to, you know, uh, you know, just be cautious with it. Uh, but I definitely see clear upside. If Bitcoin shoots up to fifty thousand tomorrow or Tuesday, or tomorrow and Tuesday, then an SOS should have a great uh, day and a great week as well. Uh, and it will run with Bitcoin. Uh, same concept with ticker symbol uh, EBON was another one that I was looking at. That's also a, a crypto play. If you wanted to play the volatility to Bitcoin then um, those two tickers would definitely be a way to do it. Uh, and speaking of cryptocurrency, I wanted to talk a little bit about Dogecoin. Uh, does anybody in the, in the stream own Doge right now? Yeah, I know. I know. Yes, Stephen, uh, Bitcoin did it a new high. And, you know, Bitcoin is the real deal, you know. I mean, Tesla put it on its balance sheet. I'm expecting a... A government at some point to, to 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 start getting involved in. I'm not saying the United States government, but I expect a government at some point to put Bitcoin on their balance uh, on their on their balance sheet or back their currency with crypto and and, and really open in the floodgates. I could see I could see that happening uh, pretty soon. Dico Angelo, thank you very much for saying that. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support uh, on the kind words. Uh, it's very encouraging. People are being receptive to the message because my message is, you know, research. You put the time in um, and, and this can be done. Uh, so I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Yeah, Doge. But you know what? With Dogecoin, I, I just brought that up and, and I wanted to say uh, Elon Musk just has been on a tweet, you know, tweeting about this every day, um, you know, kind of pumping it a little bit. Uh, you know, if you follow Doge the last couple of weeks, you know, he's done this in the past uh, and TikTokers have done this in the past when it was way down. It was like uh, under, you know, it was like a half a penny or, or less or well, way less than half a penny. It was, you know, way down from where it is now and, they, and it would bounce and up and down. And when it was down, like a TikToker would, would talk about it and pump it and Elon would pump it. But 
now that it's been running for for a little bit, it, it, it's up a lot. Uh, so if you're involved with with Doge, uh, understand where the bottom is on that. For most of that company's life cycle, it's 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 up like two thousand or three thousand percent in the last two or three months. So you could definitely get get yourself jammed up, you know, if something goes wrong. But Elon Musk did uh, in the tweet that he that he mentioned today, he talked about possibly supporting Doge if some of those big orders did. Um, Yes, that uh, whatever that number, what is that? That's tenths, one hundred. Was that one thousand, two one thousandths? I forget how to read decimals. I haven't been in math class in quite some time, right? And when you make, yes, definitely. If it's play money, sure, a couple, you know, uh, but but nothing uh, crazy. But but this also could keep running. Uh, with a tweet like that, I mean, I don't really know or ha- know how to, uh, uh, you know, ha- like what is, I don't know what that tweet really meant. It, uh, you know, but it said something along the lines of if if it if it dove, he would he would support it. Like I don't know what that means. Does that mean he would buy it? Or obviously he's not doing anything with Tesla. Or you know, could you imagine Dogecoin on uh, on SpaceX's balance sheet? Could you imagine? I just a long play with Doge, small play. Never what will happen. It's going to cool off, but it will accumulate over time. Yeah, it could. You know, I, I agree. Uh, but but. You know, so definitely that's another one I, I would be careful with. Uh, but it's another one too that could have some upside. It's speculative. If you're going to get in it, you know, understand that there's a you know higher highs, lower lows. Yes, and he does troll on Twitter, and I do think that it was a joke uh, for 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 part of the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Dogecoin balance sheet, right? Imagine, could you imagine, right? Dogecoin um, as you get into the hyperloop. And the Starlink, right? If you guys are still here, there's more people than likes. So make sure everybody smashes that like button. I want to, I want to, uh, as you, I want to see to it is uh, if the likes go up, if everybody likes it, if it does show the content to more people, like they say, uh, you know, I want to try to get this live stream going a little bit. So smash that like button. Uh, let Twitter know that you're here and that MJF Invest is in the house. And we're talking about. We're talking stocks, man. Let's talk stocks, huh? Uh, another, it was a joke initially, but I think he's beginning to think it is possible. You might be right. I know because it is. It's like that. It's like a joke that's just going on for so long. We like you, bro. I, we, I, I like you too. I like you too. And um, I'll participate. Oh, really? Wow. I would, Dico Angelo. I don't know if you have Twitter. I would like to hear about that, um, or, or send me an email or message on Twitter or Stock Twits or something like that. I would really like to hear about that if you um, and see what that was like. If you could, that's right. Listen to Promev lead. Four people didn't hit that like button. Crush that button. If you read a Hitchhiker's Guide to a Galaxy, Elon's favorite book, funny stuff like Dogecoin is possible. Yeah, thank you, Dico Angel. I really would appreciate you following up with that. I'm very interested in that. Um, I was lucky enough today on Twitter, uh, um, uh, an architect from Pure Storage reached out to me, and 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 I got to I got to pick his brain uh, about my favorite company. I've been I've been I've been yelling about it left and right, and and um, you know t- telling you guys, and I got to talk to an architect to to really solidify my conviction. Uh, you know, I, you know, and, and, and now I know for sure, like I'm not speculating that, that what's what I've, what I've, I have a good grasp of the product and, and I, and I'm thinking that it's going to be what, what, what I think it is. Hi, Ronaldo. How are you? Ronaldo, hit that like button, man. Uh, and also uh, subscribe, let the people know that you're here. Let's pump this thing up. Uh, Naked Brands, N-A-K-D, that's swimwear. Um, that's a little bit too like niche for me, you know, in a, in a, in a, under regular circumstances, I don't, I don't know that a company like that would be taken off like this. It's just such a crazy market these days. Right. Um, it's almost like not, uh, if, but when, when are these penny stocks going to go flying? 
don't have a position, but analysts and software as a service side, it's crazy as a COVID-19 play. Uh, MW, I don't know if you watch, but I have a video about Impiction that I just did about a week ago, ticker symbol IMPX. And uh, that was that was just before the CO2 sensor news. So uh, as a, it wasn't really a COVID, it was a COVID play for the workplace readiness. Uh, you know, you know, I, I stated that in my content, but more recently, it really became a COVID play uh, with, with the announcement they made during the week uh, that Unitron is going to be their sensors um, uh, for, for COVID-19 that could detect COVID-19. Really cool. Uh, that that's my thesis on it. Um, I know that I know that I know it's J five T. That's Jeter. It's my favorite player. I'm from New Jersey, by the way. Yankee fan, diehard. Jeter was my favorite player. Um, so shout out. It's a really good name. Uh, I, I, that's my best bet. Is that Pure Storage will be bought out? Um, my best guess. And if I'm I'm just being, I'm just a guy. What do I know, right? But if I was being speculative and connecting the dots, they have a very close working relationship with Nvidia. Uh, they have products together. If you look into Ari. Groundbreaking, man. Groundbreaking product. That's my pick uh, to who's going to buy pure storage. But the answer to that question is whoever wants to, to, to be the leader of the data storage ind industry, that's who's going to buy pure storage. <laughs> Thank you very much, MW. Uh, that's great, man. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. And, and, and the trifecta, you got to share it. You got you to share it with somebody. We need some organic growth here. FOMO hit me on the Dennis Mines. I'm not sure. What, do you, what is the Dennis Mines? Or Cisco would be great too, but they, and they have a partnership. That That's the other thing is that their partnerships, because they have hardware out with Cisco as well, that that uh, Cisco could be, a, you know, could buy them out. That would be fantastic. Um, they have a they have a, a partnership with Amazon Web Design uh, that, that that looks pretty good. Um, they, have a part, they have a good ecosystem. Um, and I don't think that there's going to be a shortage of buyers. Uh, I think in the best case scenario, there's some kind of uh, bidding war, right? Like Dell wants them because they want to stay relevant. Hewlett Packard wants them because they want to stay relevant. Uh, you know, Cisco comes swooping in, NVIDIA, and that would be the best case scenario as a shareholder, right? Uh, so that's what I see. We do need MJFDD uh, naked. That's like four or five requests in a couple of days. Okay, you're right. I, 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 I'll do a little bit about naked. Um, the problem is I, and I don't, you see, I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to do anything. I try my best to stay away from pump and dumps. And the, the thing that I fear about naked brands is, is just that, that it could be. And I don't want to be stuck with, before I make a video about a penny stock, I always ask myself in one year, if I watch this video in two years, if I watch this video, Am I going to be proud of it? Um, and, and and with that, I haven't gone to the well too many times. I've brought in good penny stocks that I stand by from the very beginning. Um, and and I'm, I just and I could be wrong, but I just don't see an AKD as that kind of company. But that doesn't mean that I'm I'm right. DNN, okay, man, that's down on the list as well. Um, I, I will definitely look into ticker symbol DNN. Um, you know, and again, I don't know. Does anybody, am I missing something with Naked Brands? Um, if somebody could maybe pitch it in a line or two, maybe I missed, maybe I missed what, what it was. I, it's hard a company to, to, to find information on. I don't, I, I couldn't find an investor presentation on them. Uh, their website looked a little bit shoddy. You know, that, that was enough for me just to kind of keep it moving. Uh, and, and that's not a knock against uh, naked brands or naked brand investors. It, it's just that I just feel like I could find that kind of value somewhere else right now. On what what, what company is that? On on, on NAKD. <clears throat> um, you know, and if you look back through the channel um, and, and, and the companies that I talk about. When I talk about pennies, I usually I, I talk about growth stocks. Um, but even the penny stocks that I talk about, I talked about Aqua Bounty when it, was, when it was a penny stock. I talked about Nano Dimensions when it was a penny stock. Uh, Buy Nano Genomics when it was a penny stock. FRSX, Zemedica, companies like that uh, that I that you know they were pretty clear to me for whatever reason. There was something in the 
in the in the in the in the research that was pretty clear. I seen it. It was like this isn't going to be cheap for long, and a lot of it has to do with the partnerships uh, with some of the other companies. Uh, and 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 if I don't see a big partnership, then usually I stay away from a penny stock. Think uh, GSAT has room to grow. Great link with Qualcomm, a hundred percent. They had a big week last week. A couple about a month ago, maybe maybe two months ago, I had a video out where I talked about some leaps that I purchased, and it was just like cheap penny stocks that I bought call options for way down the road, and I. Uh, uh, GSAT was one of them. Um, and, uh, I did pretty good with that so far. I have December 17th call options that are in the money now already, uh, to with a $2 strike price. So if this thing could get running and going, I'll be sitting pretty good. Big shout out for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Awesome, man. I'm glad you did well with those trades. I did well with those. I still actually hold those companies. I hold, you know, pretty much all my shares. I, I taken profits on nano. Um, it's the first time and, and, you know, I'm, you know, there's videos on my channel to prove it, uh, $2 and 20 cents, um, I did along the way, <clears throat> I trimmed recently to take some profits, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, you know, yeah, a couple months ago, I, I, I remember I came off like a crazy, I was off a, a crazy run. And, and I remember I just went and I was like hunting for penny stocks with call options and leaps right and i and i ended up finding um ideonomics idex had 2023 call options that were like 93 dollars with like a four dollar strike price those are already in the money i mean it was like a steal um there was that what other ones i forget i talked about oh genius gnus had call options for down the road expa i have a whole i had a whole bunch of them and um he did pretty well with those those leaps so Call options with penny stocks have been a really good um, strategy for me. If I can, you know, when I when I get them far away. All right, it's twenty two people here, fourteen likes. Smash that like button for me, guys. I want to, I want to, you know, get some more eyes here. Uh, is it too late for ZOM or FRSX? Absolutely not. Uh, ticker symbol ZOM. Uh, Trueforma is coming to market at the end of March. Uh, they just named a distributor. Uh, it's a veterinary, uh, you know, one of the better veterinary distributors that you could have been around a long time. Uh, they, they're just shored up, you know, their financial situation. They have $90 million in, in cash. Uh, their first products coming to market. They have a pipeline. Uh, they have, they're working on a cancer drug for canines with a subsidiary of Biorad called Celsi is making a, a canine cancer drug, right? Uh, that's the third drug. The, the second assay that they're working on that we're going to get data on is for um, uh, canines and, and feline um, with gastrointestinal uh, in, uh, issues and feline UTIs, which happens to be, and I didn't know this, was feline's number, number one cause of death uh, for young cats is urinary tract infections. And this is the second to say that's going to be coming and we're going to be getting data on it this year, right after Trueforma gets to market. They have earnings coming up at the end of the month. I'm expecting Zemedica to uh, announce pre-sales. Uh, and, and I don't, I, so no, I don't think it's too late. I think there's actually a lot of room to run for ticker symbol ZOM. Uh, and the same as FRSX. Uh, when you, when I look at why FS, FRSX is running, and why it's gapped up so much? Uh, Rail they had a, they had a partner. Um, they sold a, a Rail Vision to a Japanese company, which is a subsidiary. And then iNet Mobile got a got a pilot program with a Japanese EV company. And there's speculation that it's Toyota. So when I look at FRSX, those are not even close to the best things about the company. Quadsite is. So, so, so the secondary products have been driving FRSX. Quadsite is the company, is, is the future of the company. It's the future of the military, I believe. So I don't even think we're scratching the surface yet on FRSX, especially if, if some of those rumors are true with Apple or whatever. Uh, but even without Apple, the, there's a lot of value. Look at, look at their partnership with Elbit Systems. 
and and you know you'll see you know and then think drones and, and robots and all this shit. I'm sorry for cursing again. If there's any kids out there, I know I shouldn't be cursing. I apologize. Um, but all this crap and um, you know and, and I don't know. I don't think I don't even think we scratched the surface yet. Uh, so I think I think FRSX could be one of those. If you sold, you're gonna look back and be like, oh man, I sold FRSX under ten bucks or under five bucks or whatever. Um, you know, and I'm proud of that one. We got in that one at one dollar, and I was sure. I told everybody I knew about that one when it was cheap, and I was like, "This isn't going to be penny stock for long." I actually didn't have a video about it because it was the best penny stock on the market. Uh, like I was positive about that one for whatever reason, uh, mostly because of those partnerships. Do you have a, any Jewel startup semiconductor chip tickers? Semiconductor chips, I guess, I'm assuming you were reading uh, Big Ideas, right? Uh, um, I don't think of any, I can't think of any off the top of my head. <clears throat> I started looking into a semicondu uh, semiconductor company called Form Factor, ticker symbol F-O-R-M. Uh, they were, they, they definitely have my interest. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to do my research. I wouldn't sit here and tell you, that's right, never sell. <laughs> um Yeah. Um, you know, so, so there's a lot, there's a lot to consider with that. And now again, when, when at the same time that I'm telling, I'm saying don't sell a ZOM or FRSX, uh, you can't be afraid to take your profits in some of these trades, these penny stock trades. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, like ARST, for example, if they continue to run this week towards the end of the week, no, I won't be greedy. If I get to 100, 150%, I'm, I got to go. I got, I can't, I can't be too greedy uh, with a trade like that because a lot of these penny stocks are not going to hold these gains. So, oh, I also wanted to talk about um, uh, Metro Mile added another board member uh, during the week. Uh, the, the, the ticker changed during the week. It was underwhelming, a little bit disappointing. I don't know exactly why it, it, people aren't excited yet about it, but my, my thesis on the company hasn't changed. Um, I'm not selling my shares. I know this is still undervalued. Uh, they added another board member named Betty Cohen. She used to be the president or was the original president of the Cartoon Network. Uh, so, so, again, you know, this board, the board there is, is pretty impressive. You got Ryan Graves from – Uber, Free, Dave Freeberg, you know, Shamath, uh, Dan Preston is the CEO. I mean, they got a lot. Betsy Cohen. I mean, they have a they have a very uh, uh, very good board of directors and leaders leading that company. So, uh, you know, I think I really believe in that one. That's going to be a good one. Uh, you know, I I would still possibly add if I could. Papa Shamath. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I was just talking about was Metro Mile, ticker symbol M-I-L-E. <clears throat> I have a playlist on my channel if you're not familiar. It was a SPAC. They were trading at ticker symbol N-I-N-A-Q. Uh, the, the SPAC went through this week. The ticker is now M-I-L-E. Uh, I have a playlist where I think three videos. I, it's a pretty good – It's I, I get into that company. I'm proud of the work. So if you're not familiar with that company, yes, Mile. Um, uh, check that one out, uh, Inho. So if you're not familiar with Metro Mile, check check uh, check those videos out. I think you'll really like them. What else we got? Yes, yes, yes. Metro Mile, Papa Shamath. And oh, the other thing about Metro Mile, the most attractive thing uh, about the whole thing was Shamath Palpatia led this back, I led the pipe. So. Uh, that's what that's what got him on my radar right away. And then as I started looking into into the company and the industry, it, it was pretty obvious to me that that this is a pretty good opportunity. Uh, the, the auto insurance industry industry as a whole is completely ripe for disruption. Uh, so I really have high hopes for Metro Mile and Lemonade as well. I don't know if there's any LMND um, shareholders in the in the in the live stream at the moment, but. I have high hopes for that one as well. Any thoughts on Neo's Neo's earnings? Uh, you know, I don't. I don't. Um, 
I don't know enough about Neo. Um, I, I, Tesla is my EV play. I'm going to talk about Tesla. I know about Tesla. I have, you know, theories on Tesla. Um, but as far as Neo, I, I only know what I know. The only thing I really know is, you know, it's probably going to be the second best or second, you know, runner up in the EV market. Uh, I don't see the Chinese government letting it fail. So uh, you, you could probably make a lot of money with Neo. Deep learning to add $30 trillion market cap industry. Thoughts on companies you've seen in this category? Pure storage. Uh, as, uh, I discussed it a little bit. I discuss pure storage all the time. I don't know if you're new on the channel, uh, Deco, but if you go and you look on my playlist, I have pure storage on my um, uh, playlist on my channel. It consists of five videos. Um, at least watch the last three, and I think you'll you'll have a good understanding of, of the company. Um, that's essentially a picks and shovels play around what you just said. Deep learning, um, you know, adding thirty trillion or three trillion or thirty trillion dollar market cap. Uh, so, so pure storage uh, would definitely be one. And LMND, <clears throat> LM, LNMD, right. I did say LN. That's right. Disruptive insurance tech plays huge TAM to the moon. Absolutely. Shout out to Eric. Thank you for joining. By the way, I hope everybody had a, va a great Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I'm in New Jersey. We're expecting a... Uh, pretty wild snowstorm, ice storm. Uh, so I hope everybody's safe in your part of the country or wherever you are in the world. Uh, you know, so and I hope everybody enjoyed their Valentine's Day. Yes, that, that's my favorite thing about, that's one of my favorite things about the America. Thoughts on, is that AFC? Gamma IPO on Thursday. I look forward to that. It's in a mile, similar services, different markets. I'm not familiar with that. Was the AFC Gamma? I don't know what that is. I'd have to look into it, so I can't have an opinion on it. All right, there you go. I'm glad you had a good Valentine's Day. Great. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and 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 um and, and to get back to the auto insurance industry a little bit, <clears throat> the way Metro Mile and and Lemonade are are set up, um, are really they're they're going to excel, especially once. We get into uh, more autonomous driving and we get into like what do they call it? stage five or whatever. Uh, we're we're kind of like right in the middle. Like when we're fully autonomous, these companies are going to are really going to do well. And then they're, and, and it's just auto insurance first. I think I think they're both going to pivot uh, clearly and nicely right into, you know, homeowners, pets, rental, you know, and, and, and possibly, uh, you know, look at some partnerships or some deals with healthcare companies. You know, they have all these analytics on their app and all that. I could see stuff like that coming down the road too. I also really like Metro mile enterprise. Uh, you know, that, that, that pivot that they made with Ford about two months ago, I want to say uh, really fascinating stuff. I, I definitely um, have high hopes for Metro mile. Cannabis insurance. Okay, yeah, you know the cannabis sector is great, man. I mean, obviously, right? Um, huge tan to the moon. I had a cream UV day. I forget that was that Valentine's Day. Yes. Is anybody familiar with Fat Brands? It's that company they have like burger, uh, fat burgers, and all that. Somebody, somebody pitched them, pitched me, pitched them to me, and they told me that that they're forecasted to have 92% growth this year. You know, I don't, I don't know how true that is. Um, that's definitely something that I would want to look into. What's my guy here? And then we got the GME um, Robin Hood. Uh, the hearing is on Thursday. Has anybody got, uh, what, what do we think, what are we anticipating uh, for that? Any Anything, anything good going to happen? Anything interesting going to happen? No, you're not too late for FRSX. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, you're not too late for FRSX. Um, you know, their secondary products are what's pushing them. iNet Mobile is, is it's a subsidiary. It's not the it's not the main product. And neither is Rail Vision, and that's what's boosted this up. Until you get news on QuadSite, until you know more about the Elbit uh, Systems Partnership or the partnership with Fleer 
or you start to see some numbers because NVIDIA integrated the Jets, uh, integrated QuadSight into the Jet, into their Jetson. It's a, it's a product. When, when you start to see some of that uh, on, on the, on the financials, on the, uh, you know, an earnings call and, all, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Then maybe you, you consider selling, but as of now, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, at least that's just for me. I shouldn't say that. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't, I, that's just how I view it. But because I look at it this way too, like I can't, I can't 20 X on a trade or 25 X on a trade or a hundred X on a trade. If I'm, if I sell at, you know, two X or three X, you know, and again, two X or three X is great. That's usually what I'm looking for. But, but there's some companies that are just, that's, you know, you don't want to, you know, you want to know what you're holding. You want to know when you're holding something special. Toots and then will win the day and it will be pushed under the rug. I, I, you're probably right. I agree. I don't know what you're to do in the market. I'll focus on logistics and retail logistics for vaccine and retail. It's stimulus check. Everyone gone by food. It's logic. That's my opinion. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what exactly. Are we arguing about something? <laughs> I don't even know. Did I say I don't know. Did I say something controversial? I'm not sure. Um, hey, Monster Stocks Picks is here. Monsters, uh, um, if you guys uh, don't watch Monsters videos, Monsters, the best biotech picker that I've seen on the internet. Um, his research videos are, are excellent. Um, and he finds some runners really early. So make sure you guys check him out. Uh, that's definitely one of the YouTubers I watch. I also wanted to discuss too, you know, especially if you're a new investor, you know, don't, don't just dedicate all your time to watching other amateur YouTubers. You know, myself, like myself, I'm an amateur, right? Like uh, there's guys like um, Oswath Demodaran and Peter Lynch. And, and these guys have lectures and, and, you know, big time stuff. And their content is free too, right on the internet. So if you're a new investor, um, you know, Cram some of that into your brain every now and then. You don't want to just keep only watching, you know, amateur YouTubers that are telling you, hey, man, you know, SOS is $7 today. It's going to 15 You know, we don't even know. You don't know that. We don't know that. I can't, I even, I can't tell you that. And Kathy Wood, yes. Uh, yes. And, and Charlie Munger. I, I like Munger, right? I, I do. I, um, and always Kathy Wood. She's the best. I, I mean, I love her. She's my favorite. Um, out of all the, out of everybody, I mean, I think she's probably going to be the greatest of all time. That's, you know, it's all said and done. And as my style in inve as of investing, because I, I'm fascinated with technology and innovation and, uh, she's obviously the best at it. So it makes sense that she would be my, my, um, she would be my, my favorite investor. And yes, Peter Lynch. That's right. Eric. Yes. I think you put me on to Peter Lynch, right? And, um, I read a couple books by him, but, but I'm just saying though, especially if you're a new investor though, you don't only have to have another, you know, another amateur's point of view, like, like get into it a little bit, look into some of the other stuff, watch even Jim Cramer, like, you know, just to get familiar with some of the financials and some of the, you know, the real fundamental ways again, because we're in a super friendly market. Uh, everybody's a genius in a bull market. We know that. Right. And, 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 you know, this could get a little bit harder to pick some stocks uh, in a bear market. So you're going to want to have those tools and, you know, watching guys on YouTube telling you, you know, the stock is, you know, here today and it's going here, you know, it's only going to work for so long. So you're going to want to have the fundamentals. You're going to want to know how to select stocks on your own. You're going to want to, you know, have a basis, have a, have a system, have a strategy, you know, I have several strategies. So, you know, I'm just throwing it out there and, and, and you can only get that from like different perspectives as well. You don't want to just be so narrow um, constantly, but, but I was just throwing those names out there of people that I like. And that's Peter Lynch is probably my favorite. And then Oswald Damo Darren is, I found his content to be really uh, useful as well. Uh, Ray Dalio is another one that's, that's excellent. I really like how he connects principles uh, to, you know, investing, you know, and this whole time it's funny. Uh, is I thought I was like reinventing the wheel. Like, you know, I'm into, I'm very into, you know, my personal growth and, and how I am as a person and, you know, and connecting those dots. And, and like, I was connecting those dots to the stock market using the, those same principles. And the whole time I was thinking like, wow, man, like I'm, I'm really onto something here, you know? And meanwhile, Ray Dalio has this masterful book called Principles and he's been doing it the whole time. 
So apparently I didn't reinvent the wheel, but you know, it's still, still cool nonetheless. What books do I recommend to read? Um, I finished this one just today in one sitting. This was so good. Uh, Start with Why by Simon Sinek. I mean, I mean, wow, man, what a great book. This is fantastic, honestly. It's um, I don't know if you're familiar with Simon Sinek. I wasn't uh, before I got my hands on this book. Do your own DD. It feels right for yourself. So you can find the same value somewhere else. That's right. You always can. That's right. And, and you know what? And um, and, and we're quoting and talking about books. Warren Buffett's, you know, always talks about you don't have to swing at every pitch. You only got to swing at the ones that you only got to swing at the ones that you know you're going to hit a home run on. There's a good animated short on YouTube of Ray Dalio's book Principles. Oh wow, yeah, I just finished that one too recently, about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I love that book, by the way, uh, Principles by Ray Dalio. That was a fantastic book. And then off of like finance or whatever, but I answer like a more personal, like if you're looking for a book, like, uh, you know, for wisdom or whatever, uh, The Power Now by Eckhart Tolle. I'll probably say this is the most important, um, most important book I've ever read in my life. No, I feel like it's, it's, uh, it's done a lot. Yeah, Simon's TED Talk. You know, I watched it uh, this morning after I read the book and, you know, I went and I followed him on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. And I'm a big fan now. This is that's a great book, man. Start with why. It's fantastic. I do read very fast. Yes. My, you know, what's funny is, is uh, my girlfriend can't she can't grasp. She doesn't believe it offends her how fast I read. Like we could because she's also a reader and she's an English lit major on top of it. And, uh, you know, here I am. No college degree. Never been to college in my life. <laughs> you know. And, and we get books and, and I finished and I, I just read fast and, um, and comprehend, um, you know, it's, it's, I guess an acquired thing or whatever, but I don't know, but she's so offended by it. She's like, you can't, you couldn't have read that that fast. You don't know what you read. And I'm like, no, yeah, I do. You know? So <laughs> yeah, but I love reading. It's my second favorite thing besides, besides stocks, you know, written it. Uh, reminiscence of a stock operator written in a different age, but how to invest and why you want to eat a Twinkie is my way of life in the investing world. Okay. <laughs> nice monster. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't know what that is. 500 to 700 WPM. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, if you guys are still watching, please smash that like button. Uh, here's another really good one, too. It's funny, right? Like, I just got books laying around. Uh, I don't know if you ever read this. This is by Tony Robbins back when he was Anthony Robbins. Uh, Unlimited Power. This was another good one. I really enjoyed that, too. Bollinger Brands. Mike Z blew out earnings this week. Should be good for open. You crushed it. Oh, yes. Zillow and Open Door. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know I'm an open door bull. I've watched some, I've, I've made some content about open door. Um, Zillow is one that's kind of, it's always been on my radar. I want to get into it, right? Like, and, and I, I, it seems like every time I start my DD on Zillow, I get sidetracked. So it's almost like a sign that it's not supposed to be for me. But I agree, and and the, and I love that whole market and how you know how big it is. Um, can I add? Is anybody nervous about the real estate market at all? Um, you know, it's, a, it's crazy high right now. Is, is there any fear? Is there any Michael Blurries out there? Michael Blurry 2.0? Any Michael Blurry 2.0s out there? Anybody see uh, the, the housing market? Anybody can short the housing market coming up or no? Do I need to dump my open shares or no? No, I agree with you. I love that market. It's a huge market. And um, especially the fact uh, – they're, they're such humble uh, market shares, right? Like Open Doors Investor Presentation, their whole investor presentation, they're aiming for the market so big. They just want 4%. It's like, yeah, I, I believe in them. I know you're going to get 4%. You feel like we're in a massive bubble? What, in, uh, securities or real estate or both? Or and it may be interesting. Yeah, Bollinger Brands for the price. Like the same one we were in back in the dot-com. No, I don't think we're in a – I mean, the EVs might be in a little bit of a bubble or at least approaching one. 
you got to remember you have a whole bunch of EV companies. A lot of them are like in prototype phase and they're getting some of these crazy valuations. There might be an EV bubble possibly, maybe a cannabis if it's not forming or could be forming, but biotech, bring it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Monster, thanks for coming in. And uh, again, guys, you know, Monster Stock Picks, awesome channel. Check him out um, at some point. Uh, not, not right this second, but, you know, later on. <laughs> Low rate, slow inventory, Exodus Cities, IE Fear. Cheap stuff. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna try to, man. Absolutely. Um, and with the research, again, you know, uh, that's my whole message. Um, you know, anybody could do this. Uh, you know, we could do this with research, with information. We manage risk. Uh, you know, you know, there's not. It's not really young money. No, I don't. I don't. I know young money was the um, the music group. I don't know. I don't know the YouTube channel. My favorite industry to research, uh, the, the, um, right now I've had a lot of fun. I go through phases. I get like really wrapped up into it lately. Um, I, I've been, I've been, I've been like a dog with a bone with, with blockchain. I read a couple of books on it and, uh, and, and I'm really fascinated by that technology. I love researching, um, that technology, but I love, I like, re, I like, I'm, I'm inquisitive by nature. So anything that I don't know, I love looking into and I love learning and I love finding out. That's kind of why this is like the perfect, this is so perfect for me is like, I get such, you know, joy out of it. You know, I really do. I love it. I love to research. I love to connect the dots. I love to, you know, I love, I love the whole process. March 15, 2020 on every stock on of quality terms. CNSMP is going to be a huge player in the blockchain payment. Yes. Um, I, you know, I, I wish I, you know, I, you guys told me about it yesterday. It just wasn't enough time to do a deep dive and, and understand it or know it, you know, but, but from what I saw at a glance, it looked pretty, it looked good. It looked good. I, I mean, definitely in this market, right? Like everything was going up in this market. So why not? Right. TNSP. It's no T S N P. So I'm definitely going to keep looking into that one. If anybody has it, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to future content, share the content, let the people know, let the people know that we're investing, we're researching. Uh, I've been thinking a lot lately about, you know, uh, we're, you guys are talking about bubbles and stuff. I've been thinking about that lately. And I don't, I don't think that the whole entire market is, is in, is in a bubble. I mean, there could be bubbles in certain areas, um, but we did, we have seen this is that the government isn't going to let that happen. They're going to keep bailing. They're going to keep doing stimulus until, you know, until we get through it, at least for now. Ooh, new blockchain. I like that. See? Promovalid. I like that. A new one. Brand new, huh? I feel like I got the inside scoop. Have you reviewed SOS? Yes, I have a little bit. Um, again, I, you guys, I, uh, I just heard about it yesterday on the live stream. So from yesterday to today was all that I could have looked into it. Maybe spent two hours. That's certainly not enough to um, to make a, a decision. Not one that you guys could should respect anyway. XRP, huh? Is that in that ripple? You know what's another one too? Crypto that I keep hearing people talk about is ticker symbol S O C K. So or S O is it socks or sock or something like that? Is anybody familiar? Yes, Ripple. Yeah, I like yeah, I like Ripple. The problem with, with crypto is I don't know how to select good ones from bad ones. I love the technology. I love the blockchain technology, and I and, and like I learn. I'm learning that, but like I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't look at like, uh, you know, let, let's take Bitcoin and Ethereum out of it because those are both awesome. But I couldn't look at like Ripple and Dogecoin, let's say, and and, and be able to decide. I I don't know what. I don't know how. I don't. I wouldn't know. DeFi. You know what, Amsterfly. Do you have Twitter or do you have like somewhere where I can, we could, we could, uh, we can interact a little bit. I want to, I want to try to understand DeFi a little better. 
and and I just never get the answers that I like. You know what I mean? Like clear answers. Um, you know, with a couple of things that I have issues with, I, I get very, you know, stupid answers, and I and I don't, you know, and I, and I feel like I don't I don't know enough about it. So I'd love to pick your brain a little bit. Um, if you have some way to, uh, you know, that I could contact you, that'd be great. Okay. 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 Yeah. I mean, you know, it's hard. It's really hard. And the problem with it too is especially in that space, they all think they're experts. And like, I'm like, I asked a question. I didn't say I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and based on your answer, I know more than you know. So, you know, like you know, everybody wants to be an expert so bad. Like I try, I want to know about DeFi. I know a little bit, but there's so much, there's so much that I don't know. And I, and I want to try to piece and figure out. Yeah, definitely. That'd be that'd be a good move, man. Monster Monster Stock Picks has some great content on his channel. Um, I don't know. I I, I think what what was it, Monster? What you got about forty? Would you say forty one hundred percent runners recently? So I mean, he's got like forty stocks that that he's uh, analyzed on his channel. Forty five stocks that he's <laughs> forty five stocks on his channel that he's analyzed over the last couple of months that ran one hundred percent. This was saying bull market or not, that's impressive. That's that's great. It's a great job. 40. Yeah. Yeah. Me, pizza expert. You and Dave Portnoy, right? You should do the, the bar stool challenge. <laughs> you know what, Monster? Oh, I was looking through, you know, and I'm proud. I'm really am. I'm proud of the, proud of the work too. Um, you know, on my channel, you know, I'm happy. There's not that many losses, you know, um, you know, most of my analysis were pretty decent, you know, relatively sideways and, and some really big runners, you know, some really big runners. <laughs> you know, you, it, it actually doesn't matter. Some of these, honestly, honestly, some of these guys with these massive platforms don't really, they're not really doing it like that. They're not like picking stocks um, that are just flying off the radar, you know? So that might not even matter, right? Like, who knows? Good night, Monster. Have a great night. And everybody, guys, make sure you guys, after this video, um, you know, before, make sure you go check out Monster Stock Picks. Really good channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by, Monster. Have a great night, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what are what, what about Bitcoin this week? Is, any, is everybody expecting Bitcoin will just clearly get over um, 50000 this week? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great night, Monster. I'll be by. I'll, I'll stop by. I'll see you on one of your videos soon, man. Have a great night. Hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. Have a great week. I, I didn't open the Patreon. Um, I, I started to um, to get it together. Um, but I don't have it completely laid out yet. So I wasn't like... Um, uh, pushing it quite yet. Definitely. Have a great night. Institutions are most likely going to keep prepping to holding Bitcoin following Tesla. Yes. And, and it is. I'm, I'm assuming the same thing. It's going to continue to be a follow the leader type trend, right? Uh, Tesla and then a bunch of other companies. I heard that um, Elon Musk and the, the, the Oracle CEO are, are pretty good friends. And uh, that the Oracle CEO kind of liked that idea. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if we got some news like that. The Oracle follows suit, put putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Levels for NNDM with the new machines. What do you mean by, what do you mean by levels? Um, Nano Dimensions is, I have a pretty good understanding about that company. Um, I know, I know most of their products, you know, pretty good. I mean, I can hold, hold the conversation. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what you mean by levels. How you doing, Muhammad? Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. Uh, my favorite stock right now that I like the most is Pure Storage. Uh, that's my that's the company that I'm hammering right now. I want to build my position. Uh, you know, I, that that's the, the the best growth stock that I think that you know most undervalued growth stock that there is right now. Um, that's just my opinion. You know, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know. You know, 
technical analysis or fundamental analysis? Um, it it kind of depends. Uh, I, I could go either one. I lately, right? Lately, uh, like I've been using the the technical analysis to, to to get stocks on my radar. I make my lists and then I start to look into them a little bit and see some of the fundamentals. And then if I can, so I kind of use a hybrid. Um, yeah, Dico Angelo, please go on my channel and watch on my um, on my my watch list of pure storage. I really think that not not to to my horn. I'm not you know whatever, but I don't think anybody else covered that stock better than I have. I have five videos on it, and I I have a, a I went pretty deep into the company as far as like an amateur stock analyst goes, like on YouTube. Um, I don't think you're gonna find much better work um, than the videos that I have on my playlist. So. I'm proud of that work. I stand by it. Um, it's my favorite stock. And and I think, you know, I think, you know, that would be a good place for you to start, honestly, if you, if you wanted to look into it. Level one to five. Okay. Yes. You're talking about nano with the, um, you know, I, that, that's a tough one because they added uh, that that's more, that's like the newer service, the nanos and, and, and all the, like, that's like the, the PCBs. Thanks, Sean. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Dico. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for saying that. Um, you know, and I, and I hope you guys keep coming back and you can keep, you know, feeling like this is a reliable place that you can find some information, you know, reliable information and some solid perspective. That's all I could give. You know, I don't have a future book. I don't have a, a crystal ball. I can't predict the future, uh, you know. But I will. I do work hard. I am rigorous and I and, and I and I rigidly research and and. You know, I ask myself a lot of questions and, and, I, and I take pride in this. So that much I could promise you that, that the work won't, it'll never be lazy. It'll never be shoddy. Like I'll always do the best I can and, you know, I'll be consistent that way, but, but I will be wrong sometimes. So, you know, always keep that in mind, you know, <laughs> I, you know, as of now, everybody's, like, you know, everybody's very happy and, and likes me, but you know, the, when I'm wrong, <laughs> uh oh. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you saying that. Thank you. What got you in the stocks? This man is on there. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, you know, what got me? I, you know, I, I knew about the stock market. Like I knew, and I was like, kind of like I owned stuff. Like I owned shares. You know, I had like ten to do four hundred one ks and four. You know, and then I and I had a uh, you know an account that I I owned stocks. Like, but but I was the type of investor like. I buy something and then I just be there. Like I owned some stocks. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't like there was no strategy or thought process. It was kind of more or less like, uh, oh, I heard this is coming out. I'll go buy this, you know, and, you know, just kind of leave it there. Um, and then more recently, I, I just started to um, about what, maybe a year and a half ago, I want to say. maybe Yeah, maybe about a year and a half ago. I started to to look to wonder like can I make a, a, a extra income? I wanted to make extra income. I was you know I was I was living I was living paycheck to paycheck honestly, you know um, it was small business owner. I, I'm I'm you know I'm in the middle class probably I'm a you know living also too you gotta consider I live in New Jersey. It's a crazy expensive state like so you know you gotta do you gotta make a lot of money to live here. I live in North New Jersey too. It's crazy to live around here. So I'm not wealthy like that. I'm like in the middle class and then the middle class around here is like, you know, we, we I was struggling. So I started to get into stocks a little more to to try to secure like a second income or a little bit of you know side income. And and um and I started to take it pretty seriously uh with research and 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 um and DD and and coming up with strategies, and then I and then I expanded a little bit. I wanted to learn how to read charts a little bit, you know. And then I learned how to scan for stocks a little bit, and you know, and just continuously, like little by little, it's it's been it's been going there. I started having some success, right? And then you know I was you know I was having success, and and then I was watching YouTube, and nobody was really talking about the way I was doing it. Like everybody on YouTube at the time, at least, was kind of like. No, they just presented themselves as like gurus, like they knew something more. And I was like, you know what, man? I was like, these guys got to be more focused on the research, man, and, and, and getting information out here, 
you know, and, and uh, so I was like, screw this, man. I'm, I'm going to start my own channel, you know, and, and see if I could turn it into something. Uh, pure storage. Where do I think pure storage could go, man? Uh, a buddy and I were, were talking, and not that we like wrote out a model, but we had a couple scenarios where we were close to two hundred dollars a share. Uh, you know, in a couple of years, two thousand twenty-three, two thousand twenty-four. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ronaldo. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I could definitely see a bulk. Bull, bull case, I could see 175 to 200 hours for 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 2023 ish. Um, I could see you know 70 dollars by the end of this year, 2x at least you know around roughly 60 maybe. I think I think uh, next year is going to be like the real like the crazy year. We're going to see a lot, you know. The crazy thing about the pure storage is their leaps were so cheap. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, they were so cheap. Oh, a penny stocks robotics play. I like that one. Hey, did you? You're the one. Who, you just you just told me about this one too, CCNC, didn't you? You know about some stock. You know these little down low stocks, huh? From Mavaled. Am I saying that right? Promavaled? Oh, let me write that one down too. Promavaled. A I X T. I'm going to look into that, that one. I appreciate that, man. That's right. Pure storage. Get the rocket ships ready, man. It's going to the moon with Dogecoin. My option plays. Um, I mention it. I do uh, when I when I when I um, when I, when I see attractive options. Like when I when I do my research, I do mention in my videos usually that I went about it with options. I I do trade options. I do. I'm aggressive. You know, I, I took that. I, I was just stating to circle back to just a few minutes ago when I was talking about getting into stocks. When I decided I wanted to start making extra income, I did. I started making some extra income, and then I was and then I started thinking like, well, what if I could do this for real? Um, you know, and, and, um, and, and, and I decided, I said, well, you know, for outsized returns, I got to be aggressive, right? You know, buying Coca-Cola at Walmart's not going to cut it. So, you know, I, I go with options, uh, when I, when I see fit and, uh, I go with them often in this market, you know, and the way the stock market is right now. I mean, yeah, I think you'd be crazy not to be buying options right now at this point. Everything's going up, everything. Like I could sit here and I'm and I could be you know be 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 you know beat my chest and be proud of uh, all my calls and I'm so smart. But what hasn't gone up? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like you know some of the stocks that I talked about have gone up you know crazy you know 10 10x and 15x some of them. So that I'm happy for. But in in all fairness and all reality, you know almost everything went up. You know at least a little bit. So, so definitely, uh, you know, being humble, keeping myself in reality is is always, always on my radar. You know, I might be buying either C H E K or J A G X this week. I like that, Muhammad. Muhammad, I was talking about C H E K also. Uh, I had mentioned I did a live stream earlier this afternoon, and I was and I talked about um, I was preparing for a video for C H E K. So make sure you uh, stay tuned uh, for that content. OZCS, huh? Now both of you guys seem like you guys um uh Deco and and uh Pro Mavaled. You guys both seem like by the way you're talking that you guys, you know, are investors and know what you're talking about. Are you guys new? You don't sound like newer investors uh you know, you're dropping these penny stocks on me that I never heard of. I'm like, "Whoa, where did you guys find these from?" You guys been around for a while or what? Can I just get everybody to smash that like button, please? Subscribe for future content. And we are. We're let's talk stocks. And we are. I like that. It's Valentine's Day, it's Sunday night. Getting ready for bed.
great penny stock with ties to Tesla, huh? I believe uh, another uh, interesting play coming up this week, too, that I was thinking about trading was WWR, Westwater Resources, I believe, has earnings coming up. Um, you know, I kind of hope it dips a little bit after earnings so I could get in. Other suggestions? Well, I got a lot. Let's see. OZOP. Hey, can I just throw this out here too? When you guys, if you guys see, want me to talk about a um, talk about a penny stock or a stock in general, you know, on this video or in future videos, like drop a line or two. Let me know exactly what it is that like attracts you uh, to the stock. Like what exactly it is. Um, I seem to be getting a little more and more suggestions and more requests. I couldn't possibly get to all of them. Um, so yes, I love that approach too, Dico Angelo. I love that approach. That's exactly what I do myself. Uh, you know, I, 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 first and foremost, let me ask you this. You should go to ARK Invest's website. If you haven't, and you or anybody else, if you like innovation and technology, even if you're an enthusiast, an investor, whatever, um, go to ARK Invest's website and they share their research they share a weekly newsletter they share their daily trades and they they remind you about their webinars that are always coming out it's in the know with kathy wood and all these events or all their all their research it's just they share it openly it's the best the best stuff i think yes 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 but I'm not talking about just the presentation or that PDF because uh, those white papers, they do a lot of those reports. I'm talking about just day to day, week to week. They send an email every week uh, right to my phone. They send an email every day right to my phone of every trade they make. You could just go right on their website and you subscribe to all their newsletters. And uh, they send out some really good stuff. So if you're that kind of investor, that would definitely be uh, something. Oh, good, good. Okay, good. Read the home. Universal Music Group listing in Q4. Owned by VVHY. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the music industry. I don't I wouldn't even know how to invest in something like that. Universal Music Group. Like Universal Universal? Like the Universal? OZOP is the name of the company. OZCC is the ticker. Oh, OZOP. OZOP. OZOP is the company and OCCS is the group. Let's see. Nice. Yes, the universal. Okay, well, yeah, that might be interesting. Uh, it, it would depend on on the price, what market cap, I guess they were at, at the time, like what level could I get it at? Uh, that would definitely be play a big factor. Um, and then I would want, I definitely would look in the, in the investor presentation. I, I, might, I might do that, you know, I think CCX has lots of potential since it is trading at only $10 and already announced a merger with Skillsoft. Skillsoft is partnered with Microsoft and looks similar to Snowflake. Skillsoft, isn't Skillsoft the penny sock? Richard Shepard, thanks for all the hard work, man. Awesome, Richard, I'm glad to hear that, man, thank you. Yeah, that's why I, I, I was considering, I, I, like I started to put it in the works. I'm not, I'm not like pushing anybody to sign up yet, but I did, I started, a, I'm, I did. I don't want anybody to sign up yet because I'm not totally ready to, to 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 do the service. But I'm setting up a Patreon. Um, a couple of people reached out to me. A couple of people just kind of randomly wanted to like send me money. I felt we. I felt weird about that. So you know, I was gonna at least put you know some kind of service together where I could at least offer something. You know, and and um, like a monthly weekly options video to see where your head is at. Okay. Definitely, man. I definitely consider doing that. Uh, I'm always down for that. Uh, but I was definitely considering possibly uh, starting some kind of like Patreon or some kind of 
uh, Discord, uh, something along those lines. Uh, I don't know if anybody in the live stream right now um, is involved enough with this channel to do that, but you know, I'd like to to get a, a to gauge. Um, you know, although I wouldn't need that many people, I really don't have the time to take on too many people anyway. So you know what I am? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead with the Patreon. I'm gonna do it pretty soon, and I'm just gonna keep a, a set number. I'm gonna keep a limited number. Um, and, and however it goes, it goes. So, so keep an eye out for that. CTRM. Yes. I, I traded, I was traded, I traded it at, um, at when it was like 24 cents. I got a quick two X and I got out of it, which obviously might've been a mistake. Discord, huh? See, all right. Well, Digo, the problem is, uh, the discord and I, and I love, I love like doing this. The problem is with the discord is, um, you know, you know, I, I'm a small business owner. I have a couple other things going. I got a family, you know, um, you know, I, I don't any at the time, any time that I spend that I have to, I have to maximize. Um, so discord is like a free kind of chat. I, I don't see that ever, ever in the deck of cards for me. Check out uh, funded by Bill Gates, follow the money and pending or lithium play fast return. LLKKF funded by Bill Gates. That's an OTC. You got Bill Gates funding OTCs now, huh? It's a weird year, isn't it? 20, 2020 and 2021 have been strange so far. Uh, the lithium play, um, I discussed it a little bit earlier. I said I don't I don't have one. Um, but, but, but one of my buddies that, 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 that's pretty smart knows what he's talking about guy. I respect as, as a lithium play. It was, um, I can never forget. Remember the darn kicker. It's, um, living, living, I think is the name of the company. Oh, let me find the ticker real quick. <clears throat> I believe it's a SPAC. Is LTHM. Uh, that's the, that's the ticket. Yes. Unfortunately it is. It's like time consuming. You know, and again, I got a job. So, so, so my time on YouTube, um, you know, one, I want to promote a positive message and draw people in, but I also do, you know, I do need to monetize, um, and, and make it, you know, you know what I mean? I need to make it, you know, I need to make it where everybody wins. That's all, you know? Um, I missed a movie on Friday because I thought formal hit me and I literally was watching a skyrocket from 19 to 32. Worst of all, I did my analysis in DD. I thought it was just another PND. Yeah, I know. You know, that happens sometimes. You know, that happens to the best of us, you know? So timing is everything. Timing is everything. See, we've been on for one hour and 12 minutes. We got, still got 14 people here. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on sticking around for a minute. Um, as long as you guys are still, as you guys plan on sticking around for a little bit, uh, you know, we could talk, you know, you could drop some stuff. I'll take questions, you know, throw some tickers out there. Uh, you know, do another 15 minutes. If, if you guys are, are still around. Yes, we do got to get the word out. That's right. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm trying to build it. You know, I'm still a young channel. I'm, I'm not impatient. You know, I'll put my, my time in and put my work in. Hey, Ronaldo, uh, ticker symbol EH. A lot of people are talking great about that company. I've heard people call it like Tesla in the skies. Uh, personally, I don't have, um, I don't know. I don't know enough about it to make a call like that. But but that just that alone is very, very promising, right? Like when somebody calls you the Tesla in the skies or so I'm going to look into it. I would be looking at, um, you know, you know, what kind of partnerships they're developing. You know, obviously the, the, the TAM is growing, is going to grow and, and go crazy. Uh, you know, and it looks like as of now that they're the, 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 in urban air mobility, that they're the, the, you know, the, 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 the number one company, right? Wait, but I learned my lesson. You plan your mark day before and it starts when the trading kicked off. Please retract from exterior advice. That's right. That's, that is good. It's very good advice. 
Uh, you know, and I can't stress that enough too. Each trade, you should have a good idea, um, a structure when you're getting in, when you're getting out, and why. What is the catalyst? Uh, you know, you, you should have all that pretty much. You know, I have all that pretty much written down before I go in. My trades are very organized, very structured. You know, I have an idea when I get in, when I'm getting out, and then I move on. I don't beat myself up if I was wrong or if I missed or whatever. I just keep moving on. And um, the trades that I don't do well on are always the trades that I veer from that path. When I get a bright idea in the whim, in the, in the blink of an eye, oh, I got a bright idea. That's when I lose. That's always when I lose. I almost never lose when I when I stick to the plan and I sit down right and I you know write my strategy out, plan it out, and, and do the right things. Come up with my entry, my exit, you know, you know, do and do all the right things. Uh, you know, I very rarely lose when I do that. When I veer off and I get silly and or I get FOMO or you know I let exterior you know exterior sources like uh like the like the comment just said influence me that's when i that's when i tend to mess up that's when i tend to lose money how do i pick out my points like my my entry points i would use you got to use the rsi um for, for an entry for a trade or for an invest you see for an investment let's say like at the end of the day like let's let's use ticker symbol expc as an example right like if that was what i was going to get in there or pure storage we use for an example I'm not going to sit there and watch the RSI and figure out entries. I know I'm holding it for the next 10 years. It's not going to matter if I get in at 25, 26, 27, or 30. It's not. You know what I mean? But a trade, a swing trade specifically, your entry point is everything. It's, it's literally the trade, right? So with that, you want to be looking at the RSI. And I would be buying when it's over, when it's over, um, oversold. So you would want the RSI to be to be down below, you know, 30 or whatever, around 30. That's when I would get in. And then when it was, you know, then I would wait until the RSI was up over 70. And then I would, that's when I would sell. That's where my exit would be. Greens are green. EXPC gang, that's right. And don't chase the stock. Stocks are like bus terminal. One is leaving, loading, and another's on its way. That's a great, that's a great analogy. And that's 100% correct. Yes. Uh, the RSI for anybody, if I don't know, you know, I don't, it's hard to tell. It seems like there's some, 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 some experienced investors in here, maybe a couple of the beginners, but uh, the RSI is the relative strength index. Uh, you know, Weeble, Weeble has a pretty good, uh, pretty easy one to read. Uh, Weeble actually has pretty good charts. I, I, I want to give a shout out to Weeble for their charts. They have good charts. Jesus. Uh, yes. Also, too, to explore the idea of market psychology being so big. Market psychology is everything, I think, you know, and keeping yourself. Um, the YouTuber Dead Inside says, I'm dead inside for that reason. It's not to trade on emotion, it's to trade on, you know, the trade on your strategy, trade on your playing. Your feelings have nothing to do with it. I got to look into this one, man, A AITX. I'm definitely going to look into it, man. Thank you for bringing that one up. Yes. And and also, yes, very good point. Everybody should be, I, for trades especially, if you're, if you're swing trading, definitely use your stop losses 100%. That's right. I, well, you know, I, I'm, the best experience is learning is learning on the fly. I have no experience. I have no degree either. I'm no, going back to the books, though. Look at that one. The personal MBA. You don't even got to go to college anymore. You read a book. Come on. No. No. In all fairness, though, no, it's not. It's not the same thing. But but this is a pretty good book. Gives you a pretty good idea. Um. A pretty good idea of some, some strategies, how businesses are run, different strategies and approaches you could use. Uh, and also to give you a better understanding of how to analyze a business. That was really, I found it useful for that. Go Angelo, action learning, absolutely. 
Everybody that's in here, did everybody here hit the like button? Make sure everybody that's in this video right now hits the like button. Um, I hope everybody here is subscribed. This one here, the personal MBA, and uh, it's by Josh Kaufman. It was an international bestseller. It's a really good book, man. Really good book. Um, get definitely interesting perspectives. Thoughts on the Joe Biden administration and new ideas? Um, you know, not really. I mean, we know what we're going to get. You know, he's, he's um, you know, he's cannabis. Seems like a good sector. Clean energy. Um, you know, not really. You know, uh, I really don't have too much of a political stance. I could really care less one way or the other. Um, I just want to, you know, I just only care about how it affects the economy. So, you know, with Biden in office, we definitely know that he's going to be going with clean energy. We know that. Uh, we just got a new couple new people in the video. Uh, please smash that like button on everybody who just got here. I really appreciate it. You know, maybe we could get another little, we trend this back up a little bit before I get out of here. Um, but, but clean energy. Okay. Uh, we know, we know for sure. So solar, anything clean. Uh, we also know cannabis. Cannabis is possibly going to be federally legal at some point in the next four years. And we also know that the gambling sector, and that's not so much has anything to do with Joe Biden, but the, the gam gambling, sports gambling may eventually be federally legalized, which will lead to massive revenue jumps for these companies, especially the early ones. So, you know, th those are, you know, this is, this is the bottom floor. This is the first inning of that stuff. So money going into renewables, I thought so. Logistics as well, yes. Yeah, and cl yes. Clean energy, cannabis. Uh, what else? <clears throat> oh, you know, you want, you want to probably short, you know, whatever oil stocks or whatever <laughs> you can. I also anticipate... Um, or, you know, not necessarily connected just to Joe Biden's uh, policies. And, and definitely, uh, you know, and I'm actually glad you brought that up because I wanted to actually talk about this uh, at some point, uh, was paying attention to what's going on in government is directly connected um, to the stock market. You know, I know I know a few traders that pay no attention to the news or politics at all, and it's, it's really – you know, it gives you you're at a disadvantage if you don't know what you're playing in. You know what I mean? So definitely keep an eye on that. S U N W. I don't know. Is that Sunrun? I know Sunrun. Sunrun's a great stock, and the Biden administration will do fantastic. Joey B. Pumpy V. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he probably will. Although, is am I the only one that's a little bit afraid? Maybe that we're in an EV bubble, possibly, or am I being a little bit too skeptical? Sun power, okay, I like yeah. Hypersolar, S Y H Y S R. I keep hearing about that one too. That's an OTC, right? That one's the OTC one. Uh, so I couldn't even really recommend that one to anyone on Robin Hood, right? IEA infrastructure and energy alternatives doing nice. Absolutely. Just for you, interest, Sinovio and Novavax vaccines not rolled out yet. Under trial. Keep an eye on that. Tesla 2K again. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Amsterfly, that's that's my that's what I think, right? And that's why when people ask me, a couple of people on this live stream and yesterday and a few times through the last couple of months have asked me about Neo. And my answer always was, you know, why? Why I don't want to own Neo. Um, you know, because I think Tesla's still got a lot of room to grow. So and when I put money in an EV stock, I'm putting it in Tesla because money that I don't that I put in Neo is money that I didn't put in Tesla. Yeah, that's what that that's kind of what I heard. It's very cheap though. It's, it's, it's like a penny stock, like a real cheap penny stock, right? So 
So many is going to renew and reward joy to be e pong. <laughs> so, all right, so what else? What else we got here? All right, so we got Ebon SOS. Is anybody familiar with ticker symbol EOS? This is a company that looks pretty cool to me. It looks pretty good right now. Um, I don't have enough DD to to go to make a video quite yet. But uh, but this one does look pretty good. Ticker symbol EOS. If you guys wanted to, you know, I don't know, look into it a little bit. I'm planning on preparing and doing a video at some point during the week. But if you're on this live stream, you could expect that video uh, coming out. So you get a little jump start on it, you know. OEG, absolutely. That was a good one, man. That, that was so cheap. Just, just a couple of weeks ago. And CLNE, yes, also both energy plays. Absolutely. 125, 125. All right. I'm going to do another like four minutes, guys. Uh, you know, you got any more questions? You got any, 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 uh, how about, how about, um, how about more stocks to do a video about? Um, you know, not, not for a live stream, but you know, how I, how I normally do my videos, you know, a research video, a DD video. Yes, EOS. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, more than likely making a video about it at some point this week. Uh, I'm, I'm just brushing up, preparing. Uh, GC, I love, I love, I love uh, ticker symbol GSAT. Um, you got, you know, Qualcomm and very cheap, especially for what they're doing. It's an emerging market, a growing TAM, you know, exciting stuff. On top of the fact that it, just if you read it, the second this starts trending up and getting on people's radars, they're gonna buy it. It's it's if what you call you know a sexy stock, right? When you're flying around with satellites and people like to buy and own shit like that. So yeah, yeah, I know it's so Tesla's so crazy. It's so wild. Elon Musk is the man. Tesla is unbelievable. That, that company is so impressive. And then and now I've been an investor for you know almost two years and and um and the more i read about them the more you know you can't it's like wow like it doesn't stop it doesn't stop palantir i, I like palantir i really like palantir i really like their, their their programs uh they have gotham and they have foundry those are their two platforms uh one's for the government Ones for businesses, both are growing rapidly. Uh, the government, I think that's the Gotham platform. Gotham, yes, the Gotham platform. You know, the governments are love Palantir. I mean, they have they have awesome technology. Alex Carp is a super sharp CEO. Um, they dump a lot of money into research and development, and they're not profitable. So. Still a growth stock, but there's a path to profitability. I think it's a good investment. I made videos about Palantir uh, a couple of months ago at like nine dollars. If you wanted to take a look at those, Tesla's going to drop down to what? <laughs> Where's it dropping down to? Uh, Inho Dinho. Inho Dinho says Tesla is going to drop before hitting new highs. That's right. You need to buy more shares of Tesla. How you doing, Maya? Such an impressive company, though, really, especially what they do with the with the power wall and, and with solar. What once is it, the, the self-driving cars and then the robo taxis and and um no offense uh in hodino uh, we had a great conversation i really had a good time with you here on the um on the live stream you know you being interactive was awesome i had a good time with you but i, I think we're gonna have to disagree on that one that we're gonna have to disagree on i don't think tesla goes down i think um 
I don't know. I mean, when you say down, what do you mean down, though? Like, what, what, 600? Like, that's not really down. Factor spy, yes, just hang on and I'll explain. Okay, great. Because what I was going to say was um, I, I saw a tweet yesterday and I, I retweeted it. I got such a kick out of it. I loved it. I loved it. It said, how do you become a millionaire? Does anybody know? Anybody know how to become a millionaire? Well, first you got to be a billionaire and then you short Tesla. <laughs> That's how you become a millionaire. You get it? I love that joke. Increased competition too. Ivan Popo. Tesla may go down because decrease of tax credits. Where are they getting to decrease the tax credits? Everywhere I look, again, increases in tax credits. Hold on one second. Tesla is trash compared to what he has in store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, compared to the other stuff, but the Tesla is not trash, so compared to I love Tesla. That's my favorite comp. I mean, as far as it's my top position, I mean, you gotta you gotta give respect. That's the king. Tesla. Hey, okay. All right, I just saw it. Tesla is sure. Uh, the, I'm very excited about some of the future stuff. Uh, SpaceX, obviously, amazing. Um, Einan is correct about what, though? Tesla is like every industry. GM and Volks pay Tesla for those tax credits they accumulated. All right, so Tesla is going to go down. What about what about um what about when Bitcoin goes to two? What about when Bitcoin goes to two hundred thousand? They don't have to sell another car. What do you mean? They made more money on Bitcoin in three days than, than they made in the last quarter on cars. They're not going down. They're never going down. Ever. It's never going to happen. How do you evaluate? How do you evaluate that company now? Honestly, you know that right? They made three hundred million dollars in in two days or three days or whatever. I'm waiting, buddy. Just hang on. I'll explain Tesla may go down because of the decrease in tax credit. Tesla has a nice support at 780. The only time it goes down is when they do a stock split because the share price is too high. Yes, I agree. But, but, but honestly, though, think about it, though. Really, honestly, think about this. If Bitcoin and when Bitcoin, you know, now Bitcoin's one that, you know, it's probably, probably going to go up and down and up and down. And, it, you know, it may come back down. I don't know. But if Bitcoin goes, if, if these companies follow suit, and let's say a government at some point backs their currency with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin shoots up to $200,000, how, how do you evaluate Tesla? You know they got $1.5 in in, uh, in in Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking shit about SpaceX. I love SpaceX. Well, there you go. If Bitcoin's going to $1 million, right? So what does that do to for Tesla's valuation? If, if and when uh, Bitcoin, which I think it is too. I think it's going to like two hundred and fifty to 400000 That's my, that's, that's my, that's my, you know, that's what I'm thinking. That's my thesis. It's going in between two fifty to 400000 you know, after some of these corporations, Maybe after a government, one, maybe a South American government first, a small government will back their, their currency with, with Bitcoin, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know. Maybe even maybe even a Bitcoin. I don't know. But MicroStrategy is going to Tesla or all small. I don't know. I think we might need to change the topic on this one. Deco, you don't like you're not a, you're what are you you're a Tesla short? Is that what you're telling me right now? We were just, this was going so well. This was going so well. You're agreeing with it? Wait, wait. You agree with this?
Promovaled. Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm asking. They are all small for accumulating Bitcoin early. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I hear you. I guess, I guess time will tell, you know. I don't know. I think we got to keep an eye on that one. You think shrimp is going to be like AQB? They have cool technology, purifying water. Yeah, but I think I think Aqua Bounty is eventually going to do shrimp, though. So uh, that that would crush a company like that, don't you think? I think, matter of fact, Aqua Bounty is going to do shrimp pretty soon. Yeah, me too. I'm super bullish on Tesla too. That's why I was confused. I, it's a, you know what it is? That's what it is. Typing too. I can't I can't hear your um. You know, the way you're saying it and in the context you're saying it. Prom Evelyn, from, from you're laughing at Amsterfly for saying he thinks Tesla's going to be a $10 trillion company? I got them at eight. I'm with you, bro. My, 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 my valuation, my, my thesis on Tesla is going to be $8 trillion by 2030. Pretty, pretty comfortably. Possibly 10 how come you don't like Tesla here? We can, maybe I gotta hear you. And I think Space Link will be much bigger than Tesla. Oh, probably, but what does that matter though? Space Link, SpaceX will probably be much bigger than Tesla. Maybe, probably, but, but that doesn't that doesn't take anything away from Tesla. Fair value for AQB when uh, right now? I, I think it's a fair value right now. Nine dollars. I would buy it right now. Uh, definitely. <clears throat> I think we're looking at um, two billion dollar market cap. You know, next summer. Not 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 like eighteen months from now. So that's uh, close to five x in eighteen months. I'm, I'm I'm you know my ten ten x over ten years. That that's that's my that's my thing with uh, with Aqua Bellini. That's my thing with all my companies. That's why I add them to my long-term portfolio. It doesn't mean that I'm right. It doesn't mean that I know anything. Uh, but but when I see 10, 10x potential, that's that's the reason I keep I keep a stock. Uh, and, and with with uh, especially now with Aqua Bounty, their market cap right now is five hundred million dollars. Uh, the salmon market is like sixteen billion dollars a year. Uh, when you start getting into the metric tons. Um, with the marks that 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 Aqua Bounty are shooting for, you're gonna you're gonna you know the numbers that you you come to are roughly uh, you know four or five five uh, billion dollar market cap you know in, in ten years, which would which would get me my ten x. FCFF. Um. Well, the metrics on that, you know, you want to use <clears throat> for me is price you know, price to sales right now um price to sales now right this second but but in the future for future revenue the numbers would be um well aqua bounty is no you know aqua bounty and, and uh the models that you know kathy and and, and, and others have, have wrote free cash flow is not necessarily a metric Again, that doesn't mean free cash flow um, could could be. I don't I don't understand that metric. Um, I guess enough because I don't I don't use that metric enough. But for a growth stock, because that's what I'm essentially hunting for. The number one metrics that I'm looking for are a growing total addressable market um, with increasing margins, and. Um, you know that 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 at least set, start me out on the on the on the path, and then I want and then I look at price to sales, um, and and if I got a, if I could find a company that's trading, uh, at a lower ratio than the rest of the industry, then I know I got a, I know I got something. Yes, yeah, so yeah, growth companies in early stages, and 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 you know what? And there's a hundred different ways to analyze them, you know. Uh, I know some people use free cash flow. I know some people, some people use other metrics. Uh, some people love to use EBITDA. Some people, you know, you know, just for me personally, um, 
you know, the, the, the metrics that I use um, usually are for, for, for growth indicators. And also, you know, you know, you don't ever want to neglect um, the, 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 the total addressable market and the competitors. SEC filings are great. Um, and part of, you know, part of my research process, uh, you know, BAMSEC.com uh, has all the SEC filings for a company in one central location. It makes it very convenient. Uh, but and it would be helpful, and I don't know, to, to learn how to read a balance sheet. Um, you know, I don't know. It, it seems like, and I, I love the audience that I have too, because I know I have some really experienced investors. Um, you know, I, I know, I know, I know that there's investors, you know, that work in the industry that are on my channel, and I know that there's like brand new people too, and I and everything in between. That's why I love this audience. I can't help but think that it will go up post pandemic. What do I think of the right HT for a long term hold? Break it to products that's one of the charts. Yeah, that's all. That's another one too. Of course, um, the groundbreaking tech of products outside the charts. Uh, Pro um, You know, like I used that strategy with BNGO in September. Uh, if you go back and watch that video, I didn't, I didn't break it down. Like, you know, I didn't break down the financials of the company or anything. I was just like, um, you know, I came across this article and it said that Bionanogenomics, um, Bionanogenomics replicated the first ever human X chromosome. And, and even in the video, I was like, I don't really know what this means, but it's, it sounds lucrative, you know? And, you know, that started, that started me on my, on my, my BNGO path. Um, and that's the same, you know, for pure stores, I, I've been telling you for a couple of days, now, favorite company, that's groundbreaking technology. So yeah, each, each stock, you know, you have to analyze each one differently. Each one is different. You have to identify the moats. You got to consider too, what industries it's in, you know, um, a company, a company with, with, with most identify a moat, identify a catalyst, you know, each industry would be a little bit different. And what metrics, you know, necessarily are relevant. So, you know, each stock and each trade, each investment kind of, you got to kind of have a crafted strategy, you know, for each one, a different one. You know, the way you play this trade won't be necessarily the way you play the next trade. Oh, I'm not going to be live, my live for very much longer, Maya. You have a great night. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day. I'm going to be on probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Um... You know, maybe not even I'm getting tired. I got work in the morning. I appreciate I appreciate all the feedback, man. I had a great time with you guys. Um, before I wrap it up, INHO, not familiar. Read an IPO as well. I just Google the IPO calendar and you'll get suggestion. And you can do your DD instead of hearing about the company halfway through. Absolutely, always. Yes, yes. I always do that. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I had I had Airbnb analyzed a month before it came out. I, I got my hands on their S one filing uh, the day it came out, and and I, I was prepared. I didn't, I didn't, I, you know, I don't, I don't trust anybody else's opinions. I got to make my own, and I, and you know, and I think everybody should do the same. And again, even like when you watch, um, you know, a video, you never have to agree with everything I say. You should always understand that anything I say in my content is my opinion. Uh, you know, and I'm not a financial advisor, but I do a lot of DD and, um, you know, and, and you, you know, and I watch videos too. So, so like I view my videos as like part of your, your DD, right? So but you're going to continue to do DD, uh, after, right? Like, so if you're going to do a DD about a company and you watch one of my videos, it doesn't necessarily mean that you got to agree with every opinion I came up with. You know, you're forming your own opinion. You come up with your own thoughts and you come up with your own strategy, you know. So my stuff is just like a, a piece of the puzzle, you know. So then that's the kind of the vision that I have for my channel. Let's see if I go. All right, well, I'm going to get wrapping this up. I'm going to get going. I just want to say thank you very much, Deco, Promeveled. Um, who else was here? 
Inho, thank you very much, man. You guys, you guys were here a, a while with me. I had a great time. I uh, love your feedback. Love the perspectives. Um, where's my man at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Can you give a shout out. You know, ah, Amsterfly. Thanks a lot. Um, if you can, I, I did want to ask you a couple of questions. And who else was there? Uh, Dico, thank you so much. I had a great time. Promevalad, Ronaldo, if you're still here, thank you so much. You guys were cool. I had a great time hanging out with you guys on this this beautiful Sunday night. Definitely, Dika. I hope you come back to the channel, man. I hope you. I hope. I hope you hit the subscribe button. I hope that you watch some of my other stuff. And um, you know, definitely, definitely had a good time. I'll be back pretty soon. Um, you know, I'm definitely gonna be doing more live streams. I probably won't live stream during the week. Probably next weekend. I will have some content that comes out during the week. Hopefully this week. Um, and and uh, and maybe maybe we'll do a live stream next weekend. And I hope to see. I hope to see the same group here. Oh, awesome, man. I'm glad you took some notes. That's what, that, you know what? See, that's exactly what I do. That's how I do stuff, man. When I go into these like kind of live streams or watch other people's videos, I got my pad with me. I'm always writing stuff down. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, too. Thank you, too, uh, Promevola. Uh, you know, I had a great time hanging out with you. Your perspectives are awesome. I uh, love your feedback. Uh, make sure if you see the next live stream, make sure you jump on, man. I love having you here. Welcome. All you guys, thank you. Yeah, and we definitely are. I hope you guys, I hope so too. Um, Sal, thank you. I hope you come back. And yes, Jay, I will. I definitely will. But but again, though, I am concerned that Aqua Bounty is going to get into that space. Um, do you still like the company if Aqua Bounty is making uh, genetically modified shrimp? That, that that's. Let me ask you that before I even get started. Thank you, Ronaldo. Or organic growth, growth is the best way, man. Tell somebody, tell a friend, tell a coworker, tell a family member. You know, post a video on YouTube. You know, you know, organic growth for the channel would be would be the best way for me. I know I would really appreciate it. Um, you know, and, and and you know, if you find any value in my videos, you know, that's how you can help me out. You know, share it, share the content. Tell somebody. You know, uh, you know, put it on Twitter, put it on Facebook. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I know you own AQB, but let me ask you, before I start my DD on, on, on natural shrimp or, or um, if Aqua Bounty made genetically modified shrimp, do you still like the, the, the other company or do you think Aqua Bounty would wipe them out? <laughs> oh yeah. That's all. Oh, that's okay. Friends don't speak English. That's okay. Uh, Jay. Okay, then I'll look into it. Their patent filtration systems. All right, then I'll take a look at it. Uh, because Aqua Bounty at some point is going to pivot into. That's right. Money is the only language. Uh, at some point, Aqua Bounty is going to pivot into um, other species, meaning. Tuna, possibly tilapia, shrimp. I think shrimps first. So if this company's, um, yeah, if this company's just kind of kind of sitting there, one, I would have to look at the, what, what kind of margins they have. The same tech, um, you know, Aqua Bounty. Don't forget, has been doing this for a very long time. It took them many years to get to this point. Um, so 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 for a competitor to come up would hurt. I mean, w would be a long shot, but but although the shrimp is not a competitor, I get that. But but if Aqua Bounty starts making shrimp, it is a competitor, and that's what they plan on doing, you know. So, but but if it's a filtration system, patent on a filtration system, I'll definitely look into it. Thank you for the suggestion. Really appreciate it. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much. I had a great time with you. Happy Valentine's Day to all. I hope everybody enjoys their week. Uh, remember, we're looking at SOS, um, ASRT, INPX. Um, I'm getting crazy. I'm taking I'm taking WTER on as a trade. I forget somebody didn't like it. I did. 
Oh, Aqua Bounty. Hello, Aqua Bounty. I got a playlist on my channel, Jay. Um, I think it's because this is four videos. I've been I've been covering this stock for a little while. Aqua Bounty. Um, you know, I don't know if you know the company inside and out, then maybe you won't need it. But maybe you find some value value in the content if you feel like taking a taking a look. But again, thank you guys so much. Have a great night. It's been my pleasure. I hope to see all the same names again. Um, talk to you guys soon. Have a great night, everybody.